In this video, I'm going to explain all the steps my students and I took to create these beautiful mixed media nature prints. This original idea was first seen on Ms. Amsler's art room and a link to her website is in the description of this video. To begin this project, my students use oil pastels to pattern colored paper. They select four different colors of colored paper that is pre-cut to be four and a half by six inches. Students are encouraged to layer oil pastels and to choose color schemes that they believe will work well together for unity between their colored papers. Since there are a lot of individual pieces in this project, I start by having my students create a simple folder using a piece of large paper that is just folded up at one end. For the second step of this project, students select four additional pieces of colored construction paper that is the same size as the paper that they patterned with oil pastels. Students will tear their patterned paper and will then glue their patterned paper onto additional sheets of colored construction paper to create a torn paper collage. Students are encouraged to tear their paper however they choose and to thoughtfully place colors together to create color schemes. The next step is to sketch from nature. This can be done using handouts of references or using books or the internet to look at pictures of flowers, leaves, or other plants. I have my students sketch four different ideas and then I have them draw their best idea on a piece of white paper that is the same size as the styrofoam I will give them to create their printing plate. Students are each given a sheet of styrofoam that is the same size as their sketch paper. We tape our sketch paper onto the piece of styrofoam so that it doesn't move when we transfer our image. To transfer our image onto the styrofoam, we take a ballpoint pen and we trace over our entire line drawing. I tell my students it is challenging when including stems on flowers and leaves because a future step in this project will be to cut out your plant or flower from the styrofoam. Once you have traced over your entire drawing, then remove the paper and trace over your drawing again using your ballpoint pen on the styrofoam. Include as many details as possible and press firmly with the pen. Feel your styrofoam for proof that you are making indentations and then you'll know that your print will print properly. Next, to finish your printing plate, cut out your flower, leaf, or plant from the styrofoam. You'll want to cut on that outside line. Just cut slowly and carefully so you don't cut off any pieces. Next, I encourage my students who have time to create a test print using markers and water. We color our styrofoam printing plates, spray water on a piece of white computer paper, wipe the water off with a paper towel, and then press down our print. Creating test prints with markers is a lot of fun and will give your students something to do while other students are finishing making their printing plates. The next step is to create relief prints on the collage backgrounds using printing ink. To manage this in my classroom, I cover half of my tables with paper and I only have printing ink available at those tables. I have one or two colors of ink available at those tables and I don't have my students wash any of the trays or brayers. We continue to reuse the same trays and brayers with the same color of ink throughout the school day and wash them all at the end of the last class. I have my students roll the ink onto their printing plate on top of a piece of newsprint or newspaper. I also encourage them to either use their hand to just press and rub the styrofoam plate down onto their paper or to put a sheet of newsprint on top of their printing plate and then rub on top of that clean sheet of newsprint so that they can really press firmly. 
My students are instructed to print at least two times on each of their four pieces of collaged background papers and to then layer their prints with an additional color of printing ink and additional prints that could slightly overlap the prints they started with or even go off of the pages altogether. We print during two class periods for this project, and that allows one color to dry on the first day before overlapping with the second color. The final step of this project is to embellish and mount three of the best prints together into a triptych. I offer my students paint pens, gel pens, and metallic Crayola markers, and encourage them to outline and pattern all of the spaces that they desire to embellish on their prints. Students who are unhappy with how a print turned out can use this opportunity to clarify and enhance some of their prints. And if students didn't get to print as many times as they wanted to, they can even draw in additional plants, leaves, or flowers in their background space. Once the prints have been embellished, students will select three out of the four prints to arrange together in a triptych. I provide pre-cut black paper that offers a nice border around each of the three prints and students choose the arrangement that suits them best. This really gives them a chance to thoughtfully reflect on their work and to think about composition. For excellent presentation, students are encouraged to glue carefully, maintaining an even border, and can even use a ruler to get nice, clean lines as they glue down their pieces. These mixed media nature prints have become one of my new favorite projects. Every student has been able to be successful and has felt proud of what they have created. I hope you give this project a chance with your students and have as much fun with it as I have. Thanks for watching this video and thank you to Ms. Amsler's Art Room for sharing this wonderful idea.